Most people in America are familiar with American laws and American practices and standardized American industries that impact our entire life. Every human being has a human being or a human body that they have the right to protect all their life. Every American citizen has the right to personal safety and not to be attacked in the night. Every human being has a right to their personal records and no one else has the right to commandeer things. Every human being has the right to be reviewed is sort of true and sort of untrue. Meaning if you've been invited to meet and greet someone, then your job is to go and meet and greet someone or simply decline. But don't play by and pretend like you've met and greeted someone based on what they look like or what they feel like. Because I can tell you that the most important woman in my life, I treated that way and I learned the greatest lesson from God in every, in every day of that. But what I can tell you is that a human being's records their banking records, their financial records, their social security records, their business records, their medical records, their other types of records belong to the individual, the person who is of age of majority. They do not belong to any sibling, they do not belong to any parent, they do not belong to any extended family member of third party relation, they do not belong to any law enforcement officer and they most certainly do not belong to any medical practitioner. They do not belong to any stranger. Now, when we talk about other things, we talk about our property and our possessions. Do you personally like someone going into your home, putting their hands through your underwear drawers, looking for your private possessions? Do you personally like someone walking into your home and taking things out of your storage bins because they just feel they have the right to them? Do you like when someone opens your family door of your household, putting your children and you at risk ever more? Do you like that? Then don't do that to anyone else because you just proved that you're a bastard of Satan. But people don't like that concept of a black darkened soul, bastard of Satan. But don't profess to be a Christian and don't profess to be any type of denomination of that if you're participating in anything like that. Because you have just proven that you think that you're a God in someone's life who doesn't even know you at all. And you just prove that you think God's plan for a person has to be ruined by you after all.